Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to make cinnamon rolls and what better cinnamon roll is there than cinnabons. So today's episode is a copycat episode. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is heat up one cup of milk. Now you can do this on the stove or you can heat up the milk in the microwave for 45 seconds to 1 minute. If you're using the stove to heat up the milk, don't forget to keep on stirring it so it does not burn. After the milk is heated, place it in a separate bowl and add 2 teaspoons of yeast to it. So there are two types of yeast out there, active yeast and instant yeast. If you're using active yeast, then you will have to place it within the milk and wait about 5 minutes for it to react and bubble up. However, if you're using instant yeast, you can place it directly into the dry ingredients and you can skip the step and you don't have to wait the 5 minutes. In a separate bowl, add 1 cup of granulated sugar. Next, add 1 third cup of melted butter. Next, mix it together until it becomes a lighter yellow. Next, add four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Then add two large room temperature eggs to the mix. If you have a stand mixer, now's the time to use it. However, if you don't, don't be discouraged. Neither do I. We'll do it together. So I like to mix the eggs first and don't mind the mess. I know. And then I'm going to add the milk and yeast mixture that we made before to the mix and mix it up a little bit with the spoon. And after it gets semi-solid, I'm going to put it onto my counter and start to knead it with my hands. So if you're doing it with your hands, you might need to knead it for about 10 minutes. However, if you have a stand mixer, you're gonna just put it on for about five minutes and it should be good. So if you notice that it's just a bit too crumply for your liking, you can add about 2-3 to three tablespoons of butter to the mix and continue to knead it. I don't believe stand mixers would have the same issue as the people kneading it with their hands. However, if it is, add the same amount of butter, 2-3 to three tablespoons. Now that you have a solid dough, add a plastic wrap onto it and place it into a warm area. While you're waiting for the dough to rise, you can start with the filling and add one cup of brown sugar to a separate bowl and add two tablespoons of ground cinnamon to it as well as one third cup of unsalted butter. Now mix that all up and place it to the side.
next add flour to the counter to ensure that the dough does not stick to the kitchen counter when you're rolling it out. Plop your dough onto the counter and begin to roll. After you're done rolling it out to about half a centimeter of thickness, then add the filling. Make sure to cover all the dough with the filling and not leave any spaces in between. Eventually you're going to get something that looks like this. Now start at one end and start rolling it out. I like to do the pinching so it's nice and tight in the beginning and then just rolling it out solid and make sure it's really nice and on there. Next grab your cutting board and mark the places where you want to cut. I like my Cinnabons very big so I cut about 7 pieces. If you want them smaller you can definitely cut them smaller. Next, grab a 9x9 nine nine pan and add butter to it. Make sure not to overcrowd them into the pan because we want them to expand more so they're really nice and fluffy. While you're waiting for the cinnamon rolls to expand, let's make some frosting. So the first thing you're going to need to do is add half a cup of cream cheese to the bowl. Next add 1 fourth cup of unsalted butter. 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and 1 3 fourths cup of icing sugar. You should notice that the cinnamon roll did expand and now it's ready for the oven. So place it in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 to 20 minutes. A 
As soon as you take it out of the oven, place half of the icing onto it as the heat will allow it to melt in between all of the layers. You can use the other half of the icing after it's cooled down and ready to serve. And there you have it, the most tastiest copycat Cinnabon. So moist and so delicious. You honestly will not regret it. I hope you liked the video and if you did, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!